Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Timu S177 drone and it's like some kind of a Vada knockoff, but at least it has brushless motors, okay? So at least we got that going for us. So it should fly kind of decently, at least. Okay, let's get it out of the box. So inside the box you get this nice little case right here and it is kind of a nice one, you know, it's very sturdy feeling. Uh, and then the drone and that comes inside the case. So let's check it out. All right So inside that nice case you get the drone itself, which looks pretty sharp actually look at them brushless motors, right? And it has this pretty cool camera there on the front Yeah, I think that has a pretty nice look to it, right? Yeah, I do I do anyway, so There's the battery. There's the controller and the controller has this usual fare on there take off land speeds photo, video, yeah, all kinds of good stuff on there. Probably a headless mode rolled in there. So let's get the battery into it. Okay, so we got the battery in there. It's the battery, the power button's on the back here of the battery. Let's turn on the controller and the power button's inside of the controller right there. That's bound up. There's a level calibration down and out. Let's take it off off the floor. I'm not going to do it off the table because uh, I'm not that rambunctious today. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure that that thing's not going to lift up higher too. Ugh. Okay, so let's do another level calibration because we moved it. Yeah, now this thing actually might fly decently. Yeah. Wow. All right. So let's uh, land it up. Stop in the name of the wall. And let's look at this... Um, Let's look at that camera real quick. See that? There's a button on there that... Does that move the camera up and down? I'm not sure. There's a button there for the... Oh, it's the light for the camera. See that? Wow. But it doesn't stay on. It just goes on and goes off. Hmm. Now it shows. Oh, here's the buttons for the camera on and off. Right there. Right there. Okay. I thought those was the photo and video buttons. Okay. So it's the one on the left that makes it go up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's got a little stepper motor in there. Yeah, that looks great, man. I'm just happy it's got those brushless motors so we can at least... Uh, we can at least check that out. But anyway, the the app is going to be called KYUFO. Right there you see it, KYUFO. And the Wi-Fi name is going to be called Flow. Just so you'll know that. So there it goes. See? It looks a little, a little on the grainy side, but, you know, it is what it is with these things. I'm just hoping it flies good. You know, it's got those brushless motors, so I think that'll be okay. So, yeah. Okay, let's go fly this thing, man. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we're out here with the Timu S117, and yeah, it's the Avada knockoff, and I just found out something I didn't even know when I was doing that little couple-minute unboxing. This has obstacle avoidance, too. Right there in the front, on the side, and on the bottom. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's great. We'll try it out. If it starts beeping, I'll take it and stomp on it. Okay, so we won't want to mess with that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have the app going. 
I'm gonna start some video and I just want to get a couple minutes of video okay so I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna hook it on these phones these big these controllers are so cheap it weighs the phones down it tips them over okay so it's like a real pain anyway so let's do the level calibration so we did that let's see there's the video up and down let's see how that's working yep that's working great even though the camera doesn't go all the way up it seems it seems like it has a permanent little okay i'll tip it up with my finger the rest of the way okay there you go see all right so that has a better look to it okay let's put it in the third rate and take off oh it's so quiet wow I can see the video down there. Let me get that away from my head a little bit. I can see the video down there. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Wow. Now we're gonna fly it around for a couple minutes before I get too stupid and turn this obstacle avoidance on. Okay, because I just figured out that it had it. So I don't wanna, I just wanna see how it flies first. Let's see if it flies good before we get stupid, okay? Because this obstacle avoidance on these toy cheap quadcopters, I'm telling you, every one of them I've had has been a complete joke. It's been a disaster. Now, this thing flies okay. Okay, so that's no issue at all. Seems to fly good. It seems pretty stable, too, actually, if you see. Yeah. Yeah, so, so far, I'm happy with this thing. I can get real unhappy with it in a minute when I turn the obstacle avoidance on. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got as far as the video? Okay, we got two minutes of video. I'm stopping it. So it'll save the video and we'll at least have something to show you. But it didn't look too bad, right? Better than most of these toy drones. Okay, so I'm going to get it out here. And get it stable and get it sitting still. as I can, and then I'm gonna turn on the obstacle avoidance, which is this button here. And let's see what it does when I do that. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna lower it down a little here. Okay, so here it goes. You see them lights start flashing. Now I'm gonna bring it toward me. And it doesn't seem to do any. It doesn't seem to work like they mostly never do, okay? See? Light's still flashing. I turned it off. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. It's a gimmick. You know, it's another obstacle avoidance that doesn't work. Um... I guess this is probably some headless mode, this little gyro. I don't know. Doesn't seem to do nothing. Another gimmick. I don't think it does flips. Here's the trim thing here. So yeah, hey, it flies good, right? That's all that matters. The, the most important thing, it does really well. Okay, the other stuff's just gimmicks. I mean, I say this all the time in my videos, but, you know, not everybody watches. <laughs> so here's the, my theory on these toy quadcopters. If it doesn't fly good, it's no good. I don't care if it has obstacle avoidance. I don't care if it does return to home and flips and all the light shows and all the crap. Okay, all the gimmicks to get you to buy it. If it doesn't fly good, it's no good. Okay, because that's the most important thing. Now, this, would, this little thing here, and because it is pretty cheap, it'd be great for a beginner because, you know, it's very stable. It's not going to drift around all over the place on you. It's going to sit still, and you could actually teach somebody how to fly one of these things with something like this, and even if they crash it, you're not out a lot of money, you know? So, I mean, you see how stable it is, and then we're going to check the flight time on it. So... 
yeah so wow it uh it's not a bad deal i don't know what it was like 40 bucks or something you know there were some real cheap thing so i'm gonna turn off the wi-fi real quick make sure that's not interfering even though i turned off the video already we turn off the wi-fi and you see how stable it is so yeah i would i would say this is a winner here you know i mean i knew going in the obstacle avoidance wasn't going to do shit, right i knew that wasn't going to work because it never works unless it was one of those you know those little toy drones i used to fly in the kitchen you know and you used to be able to guide them with your hand that obstacle avoidance stuff worked you'd think they would use that same system on these things but they don't but you know it is what it is but it's real quiet and uh it's pretty fast you know it's got them three rates Yeah, that thing could get away from you if you're a beginner. So let's just turn it down a little here and see what it... Here's the first rate. First speed. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm just waiting for the battery to crap out. That's all. That's what we're doing. But brushless motor, so that means you know it's going to last. You know you're going to have it for a long time. So I would just get one of these. You can learn on it. It flies fine. The range, probably a couple hundred feet, maybe. Maybe. So, yeah. The thing is hanging pretty good for, uh, for this battery. Because that battery wasn't that big. It looked like about a thousand milliamp hour. It said 1800 on there, but I know it's not. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Absolutely. Got all that obstacle avoidance sensors all over the thing. It doesn't even work. Oh boy. Phew. Well, so far the battery life is very impressive. Whoa. I'm just waiting for that light to start flashing there on that back. It does have some optical flow sensor on there. You can see it noticing stuff on the ground. Uh, there goes the warning. Okay, we're gonna land it up. Wow, that was great stuff, man. Oh, shut up. That was great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Wow, I'm impressed with that thing. Wow. All right, so I got a big thumbs up on that. I mean, I don't care about the video and the other stuff because that stuff doesn't matter, right? And you turn it off with the battery there, see? You just hold the button. And the battery is kind of hard to get out. It's kind of hard to push that little button in there. So, but I was able to manage it, so. Anyway, so yeah, there it is. Great stuff. I'll put that little video sample at the back end so you can see full screen on the video. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day.